Well, for more on this, uh, we can cross live uh, to journalist uh, Rishad Enver, who is in Istanbul. Um, hello to you, Rishad, and thank you very much for joining us. Well, it's been a century of hostility between Turkey and Armenia. This is evidently real progress. But will relations really normalize from here on in? Well, um, let's say like this. Uh, oh, uh, Turkey, in international relations, there is no kind of uh, abbreviation uh, where like a friends. There are partners. Because uh, if you have a mutual interest, you do, you are partners, but if you don't, then you're not partners. And uh, so far, it seems a little bit difficult to be for two countries to be a friends or partners uh, since 1999 turkey uh, found just put a forward new intention of uh, being of uh, to be a leading uh, country in the middle east uh, because in order to be a leader you have to be uh, you have to have an economical political stability in your country Secondly, you have to have good relations with your neighbors. So far, we always have, we never had a relations with a good relations with, Tur with Syria, with Greece, with Iran. But now we do have. Okay. And in order to uh, put that relations, and uh, Armenia is also our neighbor. And uh, Turkish president's visit, last visit to Armenia was a first uh, diplomatic step forward. Uh, it's an intention to solve this problem. Turkey wants to sh wanted to show to the international community that, listen, I'm the good guy. I want to solve this problem. I'm not someone who wa who's running away from the pro from the solving this problem. Because uh, uh, so far, uh, the international community, especially Western, Western community, had also criticized Turkey of just running away from to, uh, running away from the solving any problem so uh, the first step has been done already but now we expect the uh, the step forward from the Armenian side well, I, I just want to move on uh, to the issue of what Armenia describes as genocide on its people by Turkey during World War One. Armenia says for ties to rekindle Turkey must recognize this will they well, uh, I'm the Turk, and uh, I have my own opinion uh, as a Turk. And uh, we should just clarify the expression uh, genocide. What is genocide? Genocide is that one if one community kills another community. But in the, in the, uh, in the so-called Armenian genocide, uh, people died from both sides. Both sides has been killed, and I don't. Uh, I don't think. I. I don't think that Turkey ever will ever recognize this so-called genocide. The biggest problem in Turkey is that uh, we uh, cannot properly uh, manifest what we have, what kind of documents we have. The, the, Tur the Armenian lobby uh, in, Western, uh, in Western Europe or in America is, is enough strong, enough doing its propaganda. I think the same thing has been done, should be done by us. And uh, as long as we, not, uh, we don't do enough propaganda, enough just manifestation of what is the reality in terms of our side, uh, it will be difficult to convince the international community. Well, uh, Rishad, that's, that's all we think. have time for, unfortunately, but thank you very much for coming and sharing your views with us today. That was uh, Rishad Enver, journalist from Istanbul.